Okay, I'm at a Walmart right now. I wasn't gonna record anything. They don't have the new Nitro Neons, but right on front, they had this, which is very weird because dust all on it. This is obviously very old. It came out in 2022, I believe, right guys? Um, it was the series before the Nitro Neons and here it is. It's so beat up, but I'll still get it in case anyone wants it. They have the new Hot Wheels 2 packs because this is like the most expensive Gears and Galaxy pack they came out with. Um, for some reason, this one's selling for so much more on eBay than the others. So I might not pick it up. It's only like, what, $8. So that's pretty interesting, guys. Here's a Target, guys. Another one with Mix 33. This one is a completely different area. So kind of surprised. Of course, they have a Carnage Asada Chase. All they have is the Bad Habit, Sparkle Smash, Captain's Curse, and there's a zombie back there. So surprised the Sparkle Smash is still here. I guess that's not as sought after here as some other areas I've been to, but there you go. All right, guys, another Walmart and got a hold of a Hot Wheels box. And right there, guys, a little super treasure hunt, my AK. I can't even find the regular. The time shifter would be the regular. I'm not seeing it. All right, guys, I've already been to my local Walmart and Target and walmart did not have anything new they had some matchboxes for 70 cents each got like five for like three and a half bucks that was pretty cool target had some mix 33 no recreation so no recording but we're at kohl's right now well so far three stores and nothing but look at the sunrise man i'll never be at any of these stores this early ever again unless i go to another black friday event but all right let's just keep it moving Places are getting pretty messy, guys. That coal sucks. I was really hoping that we'd find Mix 33 there. I still need another recreation, but this is what this one's looking like. No new Nitro Neons either. I really want those too. All right, picking the camera back up a few stores later, a couple Kroger's and pharmacies, nothing crazy. We weren't expecting to find anything. Anyway, I'm at Wegmans, guys, and they have a brand new Hot Wheels mix. We have the Bigfoot, but then we especially have this thing, and I've been looking for this. I don't know what the name of it is. It's a Dodge Ram van. Uh, yeah, that's basically what it says on the back. It doesn't have the Motosaurus. We don't have the Gata Dump, but we do have the new bicycle right here, the new trike or whatever. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get that, but I'm definitely going to be, uh, be picking this up. Yeah, the Bigfoot's cool. All fried up here. Battle Cat. And then there's a Mega Rex back there, an older one. Um, they got a Hot Wheels bin. They got some cool stuff on the pegs. Nothing I need, but I've never seen a dump in here. But I'm going to be picking this up. Check this guy out. That's sick. It's like this Target just has a couple of reminiscences. Sparkle Smash. Cam's curse, just some leftovers. Going in the coals here next. I have strong hope. Let's go. All right, will we finally see 33 at coals? Probably not. Let's see. And just what I thought. All right, no more dead eclipse. Next time you see me, I'll find something cool. All right, guys, here we are at another Target. I was just at this one yesterday for Black Friday, and they have gotten a lot more stuff since then. Um, some mix 33, a couple sparkle smashes. See one right there, in right there. And then we got bad habit and then right here is a recreation i don't think the chase piece would be here but i didn't actually look through everything so is there the avenger yeah i don't see a chase but we have a recreation and i just wanted another one so i'm gonna pick this up i don't even need another grease trap to begin with so this is all that i will be getting for the rest of the year now i have everything i have two of the avenger bad habit and now this in the grease trap Alright guys, I'm at a Walmart. This is one that never usually has some new stuff, but this one definitely did. And I'll show you real quick because I already picked all the new ones out. It's probably the last mix of 2023. I'm not really sure. They have the Myers Mangs, the damaged version of the Stormtrooper, which the normal one's right here, so you can kind of see a difference. And then we got a new Hot Wheels delivery. We got Bone Bomb Shaker, which is cool. Look at the back of this one. It doesn't even have the rest of the trucks on it, so that's interesting. Um, I'll show you the back here. We have the Myers Max Dairy Delivery Hotwiler Bomb Shaker and the three re releases, all of which are on the shelves. And I'll show you, they have another Myers Max. Sorry, I just really like that one, not gonna lie. They have a few of the other ones, a few of each of all the other ones, it seems like. So, probably a fresh mix. Another new thing is the Duck Moth Strike says Duck and Roll. I haven't seen that one yet. It's kind of funny looking. That's obviously not new. And I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't think either of those trucks are new. That Roger Dodger may be new, though. I don't see that one here, though. So I cannot tell you. But there's another new two-pack. And yeah, I don't see that Roger Dodger anywhere here. So we'll just leave it. I got some new Matchboxes, too. This one had quite a bit. I haven't even seen that case yet. So these probably got dropped last night or something. But no new Nitro Neons. 
that's all I really wanted to show you guys. Quite a few new things. So I'm at another Walmart and I showed you guys the new 2024 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And um, we were talking about there was a treasure hunt and I opened a box. They have like five of these on the pallet, but obviously I'm not gonna open them because we're looking at it right now. There's obviously no treasure hunt. They have another Myers Minx. Looks like they have one of each of everything. So there should be eight trucks in the case. See, here's another one open. And obviously there's no treasure hunt and there should be one in every case. So there's no point in opening any other ones, but I just wanted to confirm that because this is a new case. No one's found it until tonight. So I just wanted to cover that with you guys real quick. Hey guys, at another Walmart and once again, a not, not a super, but I did get to open the box. Just the regular, was not even a regular treasure hunt in the box. I don't know what's up with that. It's the second M case I've opened without a treasure hunt. I only have one of them, but I need to get a regular version of the super just to compare because I like getting the normal version when I get the super. So I'll get one of these and I'll see you guys in the next door. One more Walmart for the night, guys. This is one of the Walmarts that just got this new case. This isn't the one I found them at first, but some cool stuff. We have another Monster Jam box here. I'm hoping it's Series 32. Let's see if we pull a slicer. It seems to be more Mix 31. I was here yesterday and I saw a Velociraptor sitting on the shelf somewhere. So I don't know what that's about. So I'll try to hang these up, but we really ain't got that much room to work with, but we'll see final target probably of the video and they have the new two packs guys i've been looking for this everywhere um here is what we have on the back let's see if we have that dragonoid set because i forgot about that one nothing back there there's another El Toro monster on it. and here is the bad company let me try to get this out without destroying the whole place here is the bad company at earth shaker that was a nice one let's see so behind that it's just another El Toro and grave digger times two Got another one of the El Toro and Monster Mutt. And the very last one in the back there is the Dragonoid one. Let's get that one out and take a quick look at that. Cause that one's also been one I've been looking for with the pickup truck Dragonoid. It looks so weird, but it's cool. So there's the back. I don't see the Grave Digger 2 pack. That would have been a cool one to find. So we got three out of the four. And honestly, the one that's not here is like the one I care about the least. So it's not a big deal, but they got a little mixture of everything mix like there's this mix with the red jester and i think there was an older mix back here i could yeah that one right there with the racing stripes that's like with the global adventure yeah, i saw a mix 33 so i found a lot of stuff in this video i think it was a pretty good find here all right let's go home and check these out and we are back guys what a hunt today we got six spin master monster Jam trucks including the new double packs and we got uh six new hot wheels monster trucks um including the recreation that you're seeing right here is seven but i only needed an extra one to keep them packaged and look at that this will be looking really awesome once i get it up on my wall and then wegmans out of all places i'm sure a lot of you guys have never heard of that place it's a place in east coast states like virginia and new york and whatever they had a case of 2024 so here is the dodge ram van we'll be taking a look at that after we take a look at all the hot wheels monster trucks that we got at walmart i will showcase though real quick the two packs that we got at target today we have the dragonoid two pack with the pickup dragonoid and then the regular bakugan dragonoid both teamed up in this two pack it looks pretty cool i was really hoping that we'd find the grave digger two pack i went to another target afterwards hoping to see it but i did not we have this two pack with the mosma and el toro i think that mosma is sick um it's just like a new release to me because they've only released it once so it's really not that much and i keep forgetting they released it and it's such an awesome release and then the star of the uh whole case in my opinion the whole mix the orange bag company taking on the earth shaker if you guys don't know this is the world finals bag company from 2022 last year in orlando i think that looks amazing so with that out of the way let's take a look at the first hot wheels monster truck so when i first saw these i thought these were new for 2024 like i hadn't even seen anyone in the facebook groups or no one in the community on instagram or wherever i hadn't seen anyone find these yet but it said new for 2023 and it says 2023 mattel on here right there which usually means it's usually a truck um the year after it says right there there and it says 2023 so i guess they just made this at the beginning of the year it came out towards the end of the year so that's cool here is the hot ryler we'll take this one out of the package real quick not spending too much time on it because I'm not too big on this casting and here you go guys here is the hot ryler we have some blue exhaust tips on the side we have a blue chain those are both uh plastic pieces on the hood we have the hot wheels monster trucks logo it's actually kind of a customized one i don't know what it says under it but I don't really care, but there's the side. And then we have like a Tron type of uh, design on this one. It's kind of cool. The rims are different. Check out that 
I think the rims look kind of cool, not gonna lie. Um, but then the roll cage is black, black chassis. It's kind of clean when it comes to the colors they did for the truck. I just, I don't know. I'm not big on the hot wilder casting in general, but I do have plenty, that's for sure. So now let's take a look at the Hot Wheels delivery. This is the next one. This one is a little weird. I do like it. It's very rusted. It's supposed to look like a barn find type of die cast, and I like that. So let's take it out of the box. Here it is, a red roll cage and a matte finish. It says Hot Wheels Speed Shop on the side with the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo right there with a bunch of cool looking rust designs on it going all over the roof and the side, even the hood. Nothing painted on the on the grill or anything, unfortunately. Then there's the rear with the Hot Wheels logo. That one's pretty cool. I definitely like that more than the Hot Ryler. Here's the next one. I don't know the story behind this one. I was just assuming this was part of the case that we you know, are looking at right now. By the way, I'll show you guys the back. Um, I showed it in the store and I think I covered it in the store, but this one doesn't have any trucks on the back. So I don't know if this is like a Walmart exclusive or like what the deal is for this truck. If it's a 2024 truck or what, because it doesn't say anything about it on the back or what case it's in. So this is weird, but this is the damage series of the Stormtrooper. Um, cool design on the side right there. I like that, but I love how they're coming out with the damage designs on, on these new trucks. I think that's a new thing they started. And this is the first truck that I've seen it on at least. And I know they have this truck in a doubles pack at Walmart too. And it's the normal version. And you can see scrapes all over this one already, but let's take this one out of the box. Also, I'm not even bothering with the crush cars because I don't think anybody would even care about them. It looks like this truck literally just rolled over on its hood and just scraped along concrete. I think that's really cool. It looks like how my old Hot Wheels Monster trucks used to look when I used to take them outside and play with them and uh, ruin them. But I do like the design on this. I hope they do this on more uh, desired trucks like Bigfoot or something like a damage like after show version of trucks. I know people have been asking for that forever. So that'd be awesome. So there is the Stormtrooper. And now for the next one these are the last two of the case i'll just show them right next to each other because these are my two favorites of the case we have the bomb shaker and the myers minx that is a real life doom buggy that they put on a hot wheels monster truck uh, chassis and body and i think that's really cool and then we have the bomb shaker which is a mixture between a uh, v8 bomber and bone shaker i'm so glad they're still doing v8 bomber castings even though the truck isn't performing in real life anymore i i this is definitely my favorite one that's ever performed in real life gunkster is pretty cool i will admit and of course bigfoot's bigfoot but when it comes to you know trucks that they came up with v bomber was my favorite and he was usually best in competition the first year he did the best for sure so let's take it out of the box and then check that out guys we have different color specter flames on the wheels red on the front yellow on the back same on the other side so here is the body we have the hot wheels logo with the bone shaker flames in the back half bone shaker half v8 bomber, bomber obviously on the front we have some teeth with the skull below it with more flames i just love the mixture between the two they did a really good job executing this i think it was a 10 out of 10 for sure v8 bomber on the rear so just uh the same there as a normal v8 bomber obviously on the v8 bomber chassis i love this old like chevy like pickup truck body um reminds me of titan we have some cool designs on it and they are both different on each side here's the other side we have the teeth on the side with the eyes very very well done in my opinion here is the final one from the walmart finds we have the myers link this one's pretty cool it has the big tires in the back and the skinnies in the front like a drag setup it's orange with a blue windshield and a tan top and it has the number 10 on the hood the myers manx right there a couple sponsors i'm assuming on the side we have the 10 again with the hot wheels logo in gray kind of blacked out on this bottom side it's kind of two-tone um with the hot wheels monster trucks logo in a smaller uh way right there nothing on the well there is actually a license plate right there it says mm, what does it say hot wheels manx i think that's what it says with a couple extra sponsors here is the final hot wheels monster truck for the video don't think i've taken a look at this many hot wheels monster trucks in a very long time i try getting them all but it gets really tiring but when they actually come out with castings i i actually enjoy collecting it's not a hard thing to keep up with but sometimes they uh come out with stuff that i really don't care about but these are some cool stuff so let's take this out of the box and here is the van guys the dodge ram van unfortunately no grill paintings or headlight paintings that's unfortunate we have a lot of cool stripes on the side that make up for it we have red turquoise yellow blue 
green and then on the roof has the monster how was monster trucks logo and a really like cool font i like that and then the big engine sticking out of the back this is the first time we have seen this in a monster truck form i hope we see more uh designs with this with this body i think it's awesome more liveries because i'm definitely enjoying this one it has a blue tint on the windshield and white wheels black tires and then like a copper kind of color roll cage and a silver chassis so with the hot wheels monster trucks out of the way real quick obviously i don't show hot wheels for that long on my channel when i do but i do like showing you guys it real quick because i know i have some hot wheels collectors so a couple of these were got at antique stores like that black corsair right there others were gotten at walmart and i think i showed you a video of when i opened a couple cases I did get a super, but I don't have it on me, but I did show it in the store, so it's not a big deal. There's some more. And then you guys did see Black Friday morning that I went to quite a few stores and I found some Matchbox short cards. And that's really all I found, unfortunately, that day I tried. And now with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the new double packs. We'll bring the first one out right here. The El Toro Loco and Mosma is the first one that we will be taking a look at. Let's get them out of the box. Here is the El Toro Loco, real quick, there's nothing really to note about it. Yellow wheels, a black roll cage, a gray chassis, and when it comes to the body, nothing's really changed. Uh, the graphics are very clear though, I will admit, they get better at that. I know Monster Mo CD mentioned something about it, but they are just so clear, and I can tell noticeably in this mix. Here is the old Mercury body Monster Mutt on the red wheels and the retro rebel tires with the beefy tires i think that's cool uh the vintage roll cage as well great chassis um never get tired of seeing this truck this thing is really cool a little spin around because i have shown this truck before but really only once so i don't mind showing it again i like the tail they did a really good job on the textures with the tail and the ears um it is a plastic or a rubber piece maybe plastic i don't know it feels like rubber honestly but it, they are separate pieces they are not metal that's for sure so there is the mercury monster mutt all right here is the second one that we'll be taking a look at i was gonna save this one for last but honestly the only new truck is the pickup dragonoid and i'm not gonna lie i don't know about you guys but i'm more excited about the back company so i usually like saving the best for last so let's take out the these two trucks get over the dragonoid real quick i really don't like the color of the roll cage but this is the same color roll cage that the new grave digger is on um in this mix as well the one that i did not find so that's something to know is the exact same color and it's the updated color like an actual like accurate like color to the real life grave digger roll cage so that's pretty neat um and then here is the pickup truck dragonoid we have the bakugan on the side with the dragonoid logo and the monster gem logo and kind of like a honeycomb design from the quarter panel to the rear with the dragonoid logo once again the bakugan logo on the roof and then there is the character once again right there on the hood um graphics are kind of weird on this one but you can still make it out and then here's the other side this is the same a painted grill and headlights i'm so glad they're still coming out with these normal pickup truck style bodies and if you guys have not seen it we're getting a pickup truck sparkle smash 2 in the next case i believe for the or next mix for the double packs with these uh the same case as hook that's coming out and so that's going to be an amazing two pack mix for sure so there is the dragonoid and now let's take a look at the orange bag company i've been waiting to find this for a while honestly wasn't expecting to find it this quick to be honest because i haven't seen a lot of people near me or even on the east coast really find this it's been like the central states honestly so i'm excited to get this out of the box All right, here's the less exciting truck of the two pack. We have Earthshaker. I do like the silver roll cage, but I don't really like the yellow chassis. Yellow wheels do look all, uh, they do complement each other in my opinion. Pretty cool. And then there's a random like thing in the back. They've been doing that on the later castings. I don't know what it is, but here is the back company, black wheels. Everything's blacked out except the chassis or the roll cage. It is a silver and I love that. The back company logo on the side and the orange instead of black in the background with the painted grill and headlights. We have the motor on the front with flames. We have the logo on the roof and same on the tailgate. It's really a simple truck. And I think I said the same thing when I reviewed it from Mix 24 when it first came out like a, a year and a half ago, but it's just such an amazing truck. I got to see it in real life back in 2018, I believe on Monsters on the Beach and the driver is truly crazy. And I think he proved himself that um, at World Finals last year coming in like third place and he almost didn't even make the list. I remember that I was so proud of him. So this is an amazing truck. I'm glad that we both that we have both variants now of the Bad Company Monster truck um i know he came out with a new 
uh, body for this year's world finals, I believe. It was like a translucent, translucent kind of color. It was pretty cool. And then also the BC logo right beside the driver window on each side. I think that's kind of cool. So there you go, guys. I'll get all the trucks up here and show you guys. So I just got the best of what I found here in this video because I couldn't get it all on the display. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Tell me if you guys have found the new two packs and if you'll be picking any of these up. Hopefully I can find the Grave Digger two pack the next time I go out there and get hunting. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.